Hi, this is Alex, and today we're going to be connecting the EVGA uh, SR2 motherboard to a custom um, case motherboard tray. So here, here we go connecting. So here's the motherboard, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over to the side a little bit, move the tray right over here. What I already did was I already connected a few of the gold-plated motherboard standoffs already in place and what I'm going to do now is make sure that all of these are placed where they should be placed. So let me turn this around. Here we go. And just kind of slide it on top just to make sure everything is okay. Yep. Looks like everything is in its rightful place. all of the sockets that I need to have. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put it on. Now this motherboard tray was specifically made for this particular motherboard. It's got this big cutout in the middle and the cutout is to enable you to play around with the processors both from the front as well as the back if you want to do some kind of cooling like water cooling and, or, or other types of cooling. So let me put the motherboard on the standoffs, uh, but before I do that, I actually need to put the I.O. shield right before I put the motherboard in. So let me put the I.O. shield in first. There we go. So here's the EVGA I.O. shield. Now the EV bot is something I don't have, but I'm going to open it up anyway. Um, so I'm going to open this up. Now this particular motherboard did not come with the EVBot, which is something that you can buy from EVGA. I really don't need it for now, so I'm going to make it available. And here are a couple of the eSATA uh, connectors. Let me pop those open, because I have those on the motherboard. Let me put that aside. Okay. And then we have the second network port, which I actually am going to be using for this particular machine, so I kind of need this open as well. I'm going to be real careful with these little metal brackets because they're very, very sharp, and it seems like every time I put together a computer, I tend to slice my finger open, so I'm going to try not to do that this time. So here's the EVGA um, IO shield, which I'm going to put right in the back, right here, like so. And it fits real nicely. Okay, just need to push it in like that. There we go. Alright. Fits nice. Alright, and now I'm going to put the motherboard right in there, like that. Okay. Now, if anybody's wondering, I am grounded, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, now I'm just checking here to make sure all the pins are aligned to the standoffs, and they look like they are. So now I'm going to take my standard little Phillips screws here and put them in. Now the last thing you want to do is accidentally drop one of these onto the motherboard or do the wrong thing when you're screwing it in. So I suggest you do not use any kind of power drills or power screwdrivers. Just do it nice and slow and careful as to avoid any kind of weirdness. Also, don't over tighten them right at the very beginning because you'll most likely do something silly. So what I like to do is to do them on opposite sides of the motherboard to get the corners first and then I do the inside screws next. So do the corners here. Here's the last corner. There we go. Like I said, you've got to be real careful. You've got real 
real slow, just to make sure you don't do anything silly. There we go. Yep, the screw doesn't want to go in, so either it's stripped or I need to try a different screw. I have plenty of them, so I'm going to try a different screw. All right. That one doesn't want to go in either. That's strange. All right, let me try a different screw. Different type of screw, maybe this one. A little bit better. Ah, there we go. Okay. I think the standoff was a little strange there. Alright, now. Now comes the inside screws here. Those should be fairly simple to put in. One more down the bottom. Okay. And that, oh, there's one more. Looks like I almost missed it. That's it, folks, as far as plugging in the motherboard. Um, oh, no, wait. There's one more. <laughs> so. That's it. Okay. Well, stay tuned for another video where I'm going to attach this to the case and the power supply and all the other components. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon.